Hey there. So the false flag in salt, it is a flowing today. As Raging Golden Eagle, he had his channel deletion reversed. Oh, that's right. He has been restored, baby. Restored. Mmm, what a win. Now this, it's undeniably great news, too. And props to everyone that made this comeback possible. But you know what? We need to talk about this. Why? Because it should have never happened in the first place. See, Raging Golden Eagle, he talked about this situation live on Flashcast Saturday. You and I, were going to listen to that in just a moment. And remember, this guy isn't just a YouTuber. He's also an independent comic creator. That comic that he put out, it raised almost $331,000. Yeah, it's beyond frustrating to hear that dislike removal, that's the key to positive mental health. But you know, ghosting hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh-uh, that's not going to cause any problems anyway. Again, huge win here. Proud of it, celebrating that. But again, should have never happened in the first place. Ah, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And just to be clear, Raging Golden Eagle, he'll have to set out a week. He still has a strikeout of this process, which I personally do not think is fair. This all came from mass flagging. But you know what? His channel, it was actually restored. Compared to that, oh, this is a massive win. And again, thanks to everybody that made noise about this, everybody that participated and helped this elevate, because that's the only way that this was made possible. Now, Raging Golden Eagle, he talked about the frustration to this situation live on Flashcast on Saturday. That's on Yellow Flash 2's channel every Saturday. And if you want to watch the entirety of that, it's archived on Corono's channel. Definitely check both channels out and definitely be there on Saturday. I'm going to play you a snippet and I'm going to warn you there's going to be language in it. Normally, I don't include that in videos, but still live streams. Oh, yeah, it's there. So consider yourself warned if you're at work. Raging Golden Eagle. Something happened to you yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about. It was just a regular day, except I didn't spend any time on YouTube. So. <laughs> oh, damn. <Yeah. laughs> Have you heard anything from them? Uh, I've heard back from YouTube, but uh, I, I mean, I, 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 man, it's real rough trying to because trying to get trying to deal with YouTube is like um, being in a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful what you say publicly. Uh, all I can, all I can actually say is I have heard back from YouTube and they were exactly as helpful as you can imagine, but, um, I'll, I'll know from the source that's actually worth a shit early next week. If it's, uh, if I just have to bite the bullet or not, but, um, I did actually, I I can't share this, I guess, you you know how the appeals process is completely useless. Mm -hmm. I found out why. At least I, I from from one of the people I talked to. So uh, just hypothetically speaking, imagine this: imagine you got a bunch of low-level bottom feeders with an axe to grind. They they see they have their chance to destroy someone who uh, has a better job than them, and they take it right. Like they mm-hmm. oh they, they, here's a flag. Oh let's just skip giving a strike. Let's just let's just flat out delete this guy's channel. What what the fuck doesn't matter. And then of course you appeal it right. Whoever it's the appeals are handled by slightly higher level employees. Now that was my biggest surprise. I I was surprised they actually have actual employees do the manual reviews. I was quite sure they just ran it through the bot again, but uh, apparent and apparently it's um another common conspiracy theory is all the reviews are done in India or something. But apparently, no. The way YouTube works, like each region has its own reviewers, which is why we're so fucked. Cause we have to deal with your average American college grad reviewer. That's yeah. I, I wish if, if I could go back and do it again, I'd move my region to Japan or something and see, see if that would help. But uh, the, the next, the appeals they're handled by a slightly higher level employee and they fucking cover for each other. Like just, just again, hypothetically speaking, I'm not saying this happened. Now, hypothetically, imagine someone fucked up. They, they allowed an obviously bogus strike or channel deletion or whatever, and it gets to appeal, and the appeal gets uh, – they overturn the initial ruling, and all right, you know, this guy got it wrong. You think that that might affect their performance reviews after enough of those? You think there might be disciplinary action if these people have enough of their decisions overturned, right? So, so yeah. in the appeals process – 
the, the higher level employees protect the Karens down below. Like, oh shit, I don't want Karen to lose her job over this. And, and that's it. Like from, if you're just a regular person, unless you're a big corporation or in an MCN or you're like PewDiePie and you have someone on the inside you can talk to, like that's the end because you only get one appeal. And, and the, the higher level employees, they don't have to worry generally about anyone coming after them for what they did because the buck stops with them. You get one appeal and that's it. Whatever they decide, they, you can't appeal any further. You're done. It's over. Unless you got someone on the inside that can escalate it further. And and that right there is literally the only fucking way you can get anything even resembling fair treatment on YouTube is if you um if you got someone on the inside, as as I learned actually. Now there's a lot more to that conversation too. Much, much more, in fact. But there's one thing that really sticks out to me during this entire process. I mean, if you look at this guy, you're talking about somebody that is very successful. Very successful with YouTube, very, very successful on the comic front. Again, almost three hundred and thirty one thousand dollars and counting successful. And yet despite all of that. That, you still have to treat this like a hobby. Why? Because you're going to wake up one day if you put all your eggs in that proverbial basket and poof, everything might go away. Raging Golden Eagle, he pointed that out too. And I wouldn't 110% agree with this. I'm lucky I kept my day job. If I relied on YouTube for all my income, I'd be pretty screwed right now. All other content creators use me as a warning and start preparing alternatives for when they eventually come for you next. Write it out to the end and have your exit plan. And the thing is, everyone, everyone is vulnerable to this. No one is immune. We've seen Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers get hit because, what, he was talking about The Last of Us? We saw Van Skyver get hit because people were brigading against him openly on Twitter. We saw Ricada Law get hit three times in one stream while the mainstream media covering the same thing. They didn't have any problem. I myself, I've had problems with this stuff. I got it strike for a deleted stream. Deleted the second, ah, hit the third. By the way, you can't appeal it. And when I made noise, ah, we're not going to let you appeal that at all. Luckily, it got removed, but it wasn't me. It was a lot of noise that people made, just like with RGE, and it was somebody to be able to elevate it. Props to RGE, too, and props to everyone that helped his channel out. All of you. I mean, that, it is beyond appreciated. Instead of sealing my channel at the end, too, subs to his. Make sure you help him through this out algorithm hump. Basically, this will cause problems with traffic. He'll need help getting over that, so help that out too. And thank you all sincerely. You know, I don't have many friends on this platform, but the people that I consider allies, I consider friends, yeah, when they get in trouble, I want to help them out, and I will go to war, and I'm glad you will too. Thank you.